What's up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get and use the Bitmoji keyboard. So the first thing you would wanna do is download the Bitmoji app and create your character. If you haven't done that yet, I have another video that shows you how to do that. I'll link it down in the description below so you can check it out. Once you've done that, what you wanna do is go to settings, and then you can go to general, and then you can scroll down to keyboard and then you want to tap on keyboards on the top and then on the bottom you can tap add new keyboard and then the second section down will show your third party keyboards and you want to tap on bitmoji and then this will add this to your list of keyboards another thing you want to do is go to bitmoji again and then turn on full access and then hit allow then you can go back and then go to your messages app and then you can tap in the text field and in the bottom left of the keyboard there will be a little globe icon you want to long press or hold down on that and it will give you some more options and you can tap on Bitmoji. And then it's gonna give you a ton of different Bitmojis that you can send. You can search for ones up top or you can scroll or swipe left to right to get to these different sections or you can tap on a specific section. I'm gonna go to search here. Hit the search icon. Definitely this one with the fire. Now it's been copied. What I need to do is tap in the text field again and tap again and then hit paste. And then I can hit send and send that emoji. And really what this does is it sends it as an image here. So you can see it just creates an image out of the bitmoji and sends that. To exit this keyboard, all you wanna do is tap the icon in the bottom left. And to get back to it, you just hold down on these and go to Bitmoji again. Sometimes it gets lost or confused, like in these keyboards, in my opinion, it's still kind of junk, like the experience of all of them. It's just hard to navigate at this time. There's like a lot of fields and buttons that don't seem to do what you want to do, but hopefully they fix that soon. That's all I want to show for this one. Just that quick tutorial on how to use the Bitmoji keyboard. I hope you found that helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you guys next time.